Hey everyone, Coin Metallurgist here. Um, today I got a package to open for you. This is some sterling silver world coins. These are from 1976 uh, for the country of Fiji. Um, I took a little bit of a gamble on this. Um, I'm hoping uh, that these coins are authentic, but I'm going to try to do everything I can to validate that. Um, these coins came from China, or a seller in China. And typically, I try to avoid sellers in China, um, but this seller is on eBay, and so I'm somewhat trusting eBay to where if there is some kind of issue, if I can work through eBay and PayPal to, to get my money back. Um, but there's a couple reasons why I'm a little bit skeptical. One, it's coming from China, and a lot of, I think, counterfeit stuff comes from China. Uh, two, um, the coins are not coming in their original mint packaging. And three, I noticed uh, kind of later on that, um, well, so th this 1976 uh, Fiji Sterling Silver proof set, I've been watching on eBay for probably two years. I don't know how to get this open probably two years been watching uh, um, and getting notifications when there's new listings posted that meet a specific search criteria to try to find this set and it's very rarely posted on eBay and usually you know a couple hundred dollars in the range of about two hundred dollars and I got this set for about fifty dollars but one big thing is, is that it does not include the $1 coin. It's only the one cent through the 50 cent coin. And as soon as I get into this, I'm going to show you guys the coins. Let's see, I think I'm almost there. Um, and so see, they're not in their original mint packaging. They do look appearance wise to look like the silver coins. Uh, we're going to weigh them here. Uh, we're going to... I don't know why they didn't have the $1 coin. We're going to weigh them. We're going to look at dimensions. Um, and we might try them on a magnetics, on a, like a magnet scale, on a slide. If we're uh, concerned for them after doing some of this other stuff here. Okay. So, I'm going to put a glove on my one hand here. The one cent coin, um, of course... The options for the one cent coin are either the sterling silver or the like bronze normal circulation. And the bronze one weighs 1.9 grams, the silver weighs 2.26 grams. So let's see if we have 2.26 grams on our one cent coin. 2.27, that's pretty good. That's probably within the uh, ability of my scale to be accurate for the two cent coin show that to you guys um, the bronze version of this weighs 3.85 grams and the silver 4.53 grams hmm I don't really care about this packaging if I had my scissors might be faster to open it that way, but I'm just going to tear it. Sorry about this. Oh, come on. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. But, I'm tearing it. There's the 10 cent coin. Kind of hard to get to. Okay, there's the two cent coin. Again, we're looking for 4.53 grams. Four point three six. So it's either a little bit light, or maybe I wrote that wrong. Maybe it's four three five, and I wrote four five three wrong. Let's give it the benefit of the doubt and keep going. at the five cent coin so the five cent coin um, is either uh, like things like a cupro nickel um, or sterling silver the sterling silver would weigh 3.28 grams 
Okay. 3.1. So that seems a little light too. Okay, the 10 cent. The sterling silver of the 10 cent should weigh 6.55 grams. 6.19. So that seems a little light there too. 20 cent. The 20 cent should weigh 13.09 grams. I hope all the numbers that I got are right. 12.72. Hmm. It'd be kind of funny if I'm just telling you guys all wrong numbers, because I got them from New Mista, so I trust New Mista, but the 50 cent here. The 50 cent should weigh, uh, let's see, 18 grams. 17.6, so everything was light, except for the one cent was right on. All right, so let's look at one other thing here. Um, let's look at diameter. Uh, I, the battery's dead in my caliper here, and I'm not exactly sure how they measure the 50 cent ones. So it's probably a bad one to start with. Um, but right there, I'm getting 33 millimeters. Um, and it should be 38.9 is what I wrote down. So it definitely is not. That's interesting. The 20 cent should be 28 millimeters. It's about 29. The 10 cent should be 24 millimeters. That's right on. The five cent should be 20 millimeters. Looks to be a little under 20. The um, copper version of it, or the, not the copper, the five cent would be Cooper nickel would have been 19.35 and the two cent 21 and a half millimeters yep we're there and the one cent 17 and a half and 15 yep that looks right that was not really great measuring i'm gonna grab slide. And for comparison's sake, let me also grab some sterling silver coins. So, All right, so we got a real little one here. This is a UK three pence that's sterling. And I don't have a whole lot of sterling coins here, but here's a, a, a $2 Bahama sterling coin. And just for size sake, here's a 1932 Honduras, uh, um, 90% silver coin. Okay, let's take our 50 cent. That looks pretty good. So, 
The thought here, guys, is that they appear to be sterling silver, but if the dimensions are off, are they counterfeit coins? Are these coins valuable enough where they're a $50, $50 set? Are they valuable enough for it to be worth somebody to counterfeit those in sterling silver? Or some some silver alloy. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I kind of hope they're real. There's a couple things you know that make me suspicious, but you know, um, they look good. You know, they don't look like they're uh, un un unrealistic or or different than the actual coins if they are counterfeit. So, give me your thoughts and opinions. Sorry this video ran quite long, but I appreciate you guys watching, supporting my channel. Hope it was uh, enjoyable to take a look at these uh, coins with me. And I hope that uh, you guys are enjoying collecting and having uh, a great time. And I'll talk to you all again later.